Hey guys, I'm the EG. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Ace Attorney. <sighs> Wait, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney? I can't speak. Today's a day where I just can't speak. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up. My mouse doesn't want to work today, so that sounds nice. Oh, did I say something wrong? She looks sadder. No. Um, what? What's wrong? You don't think I can do it? No, no one could. Who would believe me? Even you! When you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? No, I never thought. It's okay, I understand. I'm so hurry. I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was an edge the whole time. It's been a while. <laughs> so he crashed and burned. He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh? Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I don't think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless if you want to be found guilty. That's what she said. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's you, I guess. But, at the same time, I just can't watch and sit by. What if a person who did this to me? I know. Um, I don't think I need to examine this area. Talk. By the day of the crime. Can you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes, let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes. That clog shaped like the finger? The one Larry made? How could that even be... Or how could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her, her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah. Forgot how to delete those things. Now we're gonna talk about her cell phone. So you say you have a conversation with your sister on her cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remembered that detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll let you know so you don't forget, okay? Sure. Thanks. Maya's memo. A conversation I had with my sister recorded on my cell phone. That's very useful. Uh, the day that Maya. There's something I've been wanting to ask. Yes? What's with the health food? Oh, this? This is, what, this is what all the coliates wear. It's my uniform, you could say. A, a coliates? Like, pe like people in religious training? What is it to you? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. In training. A, a spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Um, let's talk about the day of the crime. Just tell me about the day of the murder. Sorry, I know it must be hard. Or, sorry, I know it must be hard. Wrong voice. No, it's okay. All I've been do all I've been doing for the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see, that morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold up to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That the thinker clocked at Larry made? It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. <laughs> so then, what did you do? Oh, so then, what did you do? Or... What did you arrive- or when did you arrive at the office? I can't speak. It was right around nine. The lights were off and I could smell blood. But then I found her, my sister. That rhymes, Dr. Seuss, okay. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. I'm talking about spirit mediums. So you're in a cullet. Uh, uh, medium and training. That's right. The Fey family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Fey family? Oh, that was the wrong voice I said. I was talking. But... So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I, I had no idea. Hmm. Wait. What? So, you're real honest. It's a good spirit medium. With ESP and all that. Yes, in training. 
Well, can't you contact me a spirit then? You can just ask her who killed her. I'm sorry, I'm still in training. I couldn't do something like wait on that level. Hmm. I felt that would be too easy. Um, huh? Something matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I were was ever in trouble, I should call him. And well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you can go ask him to represent me? Hmm. I think I accept it for sure. Why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. S say, what about your parents? I... I see. Don't worry, leave it to me. Thank you, the child is tomorrow at 10. What, tomorrow? Tom what if this guy refuses? He told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. What will that happen? They're giving me until four this afternoon. The visiting hours are almost up. I better hurry. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll be back. Okay. Move. Ghostburg Law Offices, which is the thing that we're going here. According to the receptionist, if the big boss is out, she couldn't be or say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention, run in an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. And now we're gonna go to the detention center. Hey, what is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry, I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm. I'd rather go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. Um, he's probably back in his office now. My bet. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The wood paint is so thick it practically gives me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. Uh, a solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished with deep luster. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't even look like they've been read. Uh, I was gonna focus on the, uh, something else there, but okay. You know, I think I'm gonna go here. Your family. What about your family? I only have my sister. My father died when I was very young, and I don't know where my mother is. Hmm. Don't know. So she could still be alive. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, my family was involved in an incident. There was a man, and he, he, he ruined her mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced that she she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. So you live all by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I have to become independent or I'll lose my powers. I feel bad for her. All by herself up on that mountain. Who was the enemy? So who was this- or, or, wrong voice. So who was this man who, um, wounded your mother? About five years ago, there's an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. No one was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try and contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved. We thought. You thought? My and my mother helped the police capture. It was innocent. The police consulted. The medium had all been carried out in secret, of course, but the man found out about it and leaked it to the press. I told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. Why, excuse me, 
White? That was his name, my sister told me. White. Hmm. Hmm. Is there anything I can do? Oh, well, I think there's meant to be, um, maybe there could be a note here. Examine. A table for clients. Hmm. An elegant ebony case. And if I'm not mistaken, that lighter is made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here got some, here's got money to burn. The look. I'm honestly lost. Uh, no clues here. I know. <laughs> 